What is up, FGF homies? Um, I am Coach Haley. Nice to meet you all. New face around here. Um, I am here at our Spokane location. I am a coach here, a uh, newer coach, and so happy to be a part of this community. Um, we got a fun sweat sesh for the grind today. It is a HIT style training, so high intensity intervals. Uh, we're gonna work hard for 40 seconds and then rest for that, rest and recover for that 20 seconds. So we have uh, four rounds to do today. It is gonna be six different exercises, full body. You're gonna add some dumbbells um, or do this body weight, whatever you're feeling today, whatever your body needs today. So let's go ahead and get it started with the warm up. Let's start with some jumping jacks for 30 seconds here. Good, nice and easy. Feet and arms come out at the same time, keeping that core on, and let's connect to our breath. There we go. Awesome job. Keep it up. Yeah, 10 more seconds. If you need to, right, modification would just be to step out. Okay, a little bit easier on those knees. Let's go ahead into those seal jacks. So we're gonna cross one arm over the other, okay? And then also you can cross those feet over the other two. Same thing though, if we need to, right? Step out, cross over, okay? Extending those arms, getting that heat building in that body, getting that heavy breathing going, woo! There we go. Just getting the blood flowing, heart rate coming up. Nice work. Looks like a little dance move. All right, 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Shake it out a little bit. We're gonna go into some butt kicks. Okay, if you're not ready for some butt kicks, we can always go ahead and do that quad stretch. So working on some balance here, pulling that heel to our glute, or adding a little more motion in it. Kick those heels to that booty. Good. So happy to be here with you guys. Thanks for joining. Way to show up for yourself today. Getting in some new time. Good. Let's go for 15 more seconds here. Again, if you need to, slow it down a little bit. Just here to wake up our bodies. Good. Let's go for three, two, and one. We're gonna go ahead and go some jack taps. So in and out with those feet. Send it down, back up, stand it up. Send it down into that squat. Stand it up. If you need to, we can go ahead and do those step out squats, alternating which leg we are stepping out into. Good. And when you're sitting in that squat, you're in that parallel position, 90 with those knees, making sure we're not folding our chest over right. Keep that chest tall. In and out. Good. Weight in our heels. Our arms are getting involved. Nice and balanced. Good work. Awesome, we're almost there. We'll slow it down a little bit. Give me those five more jack taps. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Shake it out a little bit. All right, I want you to come to the edge of your mat here. Roll those shoulders back. We're gonna walk it out into some inchworms and then add a little mobility to the end of that. So walk it out nice and slow into that high plank. Notice that everything is stacked. My wrists right under my shoulders have a nice flat back here. We are gonna go ahead and go into a forward fold. So from here, knees come down, little child's pose. Push those hips back to meet your heels and rest or head down to that mat. I want you to take two big inhales and let it go. 
let go whatever is not serving you today. We do not need it. Good. Go ahead and reach those arms to the right side, feeling that stretch in that left. Same thing. Connect to our breath. Good. Release. Let's go ahead into the left side. Stretch out that right. We can go ahead and rest our head to our mats. Feel that good hip stretch. And release. Good. Back to that middle ground. Go ahead. Meet me on all fours here. Let's go through some cat cow. So looking up to the sky, right? Rounding out that belly and then pressing through that mat. Good. One vertebrae at a time. It doesn't have to be for speed. Again, making that mind-body connection right here. Sets us out for a successful workout. Even if we want to move organically side to side, we can. Okay, just feel that movement. Feels so dang good. Okay, let's go through one more rotation. Pressing through the mat and then round out that spine, that lower lumbar, looking up to the sky. Good, meet me in neutral spine. Go ahead and lift those knees up, back into that high plank. Walk those hands back to meet those feet. Stand nice and tall. Shake it out, shimmy it out, good. Another inch room here, we're gonna walk it out into that high plank. Hold it here for a few seconds, right? Warm up that core. We're not lackadaisical with that core. We need to activate it, keep it nice and tight. And now we're gonna go ahead and fold into that downward dog, hips to the sky. Press through those hands. Good, relax that head. Let's go ahead and pedal out our feet. There we go, side to side. Touching one heel down at a time, waking up those hamstrings. There we go. Making that nice V. Awesome. Couple more, pedaling it out. Good, feel the stretch between your shoulders. Ooh, I love that. I needed that today. There we go. Go ahead again. Find that nice neutral plank, neutral spine here. Holding it. And hold it for a little longer. Whoops. Hold it for a little longer. There you go. Breathe. If we need to, we can always go to our knees holding that plank. Hold it for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Go ahead, walk those hands back to meet those feet. Stand it up nice and tall. Shimmy it out, good. We're gonna go back to another inchworm. Go ahead, forward fold, right? We're right here, walking it out. I want you to go ahead and touch opposite hand, opposite foot, okay? Reaching, reaching, trying to keep those hips squared in the mat and also trying to keep that core on. Good, you feel that heat starting? You're getting a little sweat going, that's what we need. We need that body to be warm and for us to be ready to work. There we go. Good, one more each side. Last one here. Awesome, let's go ahead and walk those hands to meet those feet, but now we're gonna go ahead, hug those elbows, and we're just gonna rock side to side, staying in this forward fold. Hang that head. Good, hang that head. Love it. Breathe, good work. One vertebrae at a time, rising all the way up. We can even go ahead and stretch all the way up, arms extended overhead, a little baby back bend if we want. Squeezing the glutes and release, shimmy it out, you know what to do. Couple more here, we're gonna go ahead and walk it out to an inch room one more time. Good, we're right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and do a push up. Okay, on our knees or on our toes into a cobra. So hips come all the way down to the ground. We're going ahead and lifting those shins up. We're like gazing up to the sky, feeling that lower back stretch. Pressing through, feeling that core stretch. Get a big inhale with me and release. 
One more. All right, let's go ahead and look over our left shoulder here. Good, let's go ahead, roll it out, looking over our right shoulder. One more time, left shoulder, looking over, and right shoulder, looking over, good. All right, go ahead, press it back to that child's pose. We are almost ready to rock it, team. There we go. All right, come on to all fours here. Everything's nice and stacked. Knees under our hips, okay? Wrists under our shoulders. I'm gonna go ahead and set you up in a runner's lunge. So you can have your back knee placed on that mat or lifted, and other knee is gonna come right outside of our elbows. So we're gonna have both hands on the ground, on the inside of that foot, and really feel that stretch in our hip flexors. Good, just holding it here. Again, you can be lifted. Awesome job. Go ahead and have both hands on the outside of those feet. And now I want you to go ahead and set that back leg down. We're gonna go ahead and stretch out our hamstring. Do a little extension here. And then go ahead and roll forward now. Where our knees are going past the toe. Okay, getting that range of motion and that mobility in our knees. So extend back. Good, press forward. We're gonna go three more times on the side. Press back. Good. You see the opposite uh, heel touching that opposite booty cheek. Good, press it forward. One more time through, press it back. Into that hamstring, slow and controlled. Good, and press it forward. Nice work. Anything we gotta do on one side, we gotta do for the other. So go ahead, back onto all fours, okay? Again, if you need to move organically side to side, feel a little good stretch here, do so. We're gonna reach that left leg on the outside of those hands, okay? Opposite leg, our right leg is lifted or set down. But go ahead, feel that good stretch. Just leaning into it, relaxing into it. There we go, holding it. Set that back, right leg down, opposite hand, or one of your hands comes on the both sides of that left foot. Okay, extend it back into that hamstring, roll it back, and then roll it forward. Trying to get a little deeper in that stretch every time as our bodies get warm, right? We feel we got a little more flexibility in us. Here we go, rolling it back. Pressing it forward, you look so good. Keep going. Almost into our workout today. Good, two more times on this side. Even it out, stretch it back. Whew, my hamstrings are nice and tight. Press it forward. There we go. Sit it back, last one. There we go, and Knee goes all the way over that toe. Good, meet me on all fours. Actually, meet me in that high plank. We'll walk it back, feet to those, or hands to those feet. Rise all the way up. The last thing we're gonna do is a pigeon stretch. So, back into that inchworm, walk it out. Good, nice plank position here. Go ahead and make a figure four with that right or left leg, and then sit on down we can go ahead onto our forearms here our right or left leg is underneath us and we are relaxing the upper body into this stretch for our glutes and our hips hip flexors especially all right go ahead and lift let's switch left leg or opposite leg coming under us and fold over. When you step into your workout today, remember this is your 45 to an hour of your time. It will not be wasted. Good, go ahead. We are walking it back, hands meet those feet. We are done with that mobility. 
Okay, shimmy, shake it out a little bit. And we're gonna get that heart rate back up. So let's go ahead, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Back to the top of our warm up. And then we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. Good, I hope you're playing some good tunes at home. Some Beyonce, some Britney, you know. There we go. Let's transition right into those seal jacks. So opposite foot and arm extended over one another. Good. Modifying if we need. If anything else feels good today or needs that extra stretch, you take it. There we go. Let's transition into those butt kicks. Nice work, nice work. Keep it up. Holding ourselves accountable today. Let's do it, Fit Fam. There we go. And last but not least, 10 of those jack taps on my count. Three, two, and one. 10 right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, two more. Nine and 10. All right. Take what you need, water. If you need your equipment, go ahead and grab it. But take these a uh, few seconds while I demo and get ready for our workout. So again, we have four rounds today. It is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, six different exercises. So first exercise, we're gonna grab our dumbbells here, standing nice and tall. We are gonna go into a hammer curl to a press. So it's gonna be one arm at a time, starting with my right, bringing it up to that shoulder, and all the way overhead, right? If we need to, we can always just use one dumbbell. Curling it up to our chest, keeping those elbows tight, and then pressing it over that midline. Okay, making sure we're not using any of that lower body. If you are using any of that lower body work, you need to make sure you're grabbing a little lighter weight. I'm using 15 today, pretty moderate. So, next we're gonna go into good morning. So, we can have our dumbbells at our shoulders, right here making sure our feet hip distance apart hinging at those hips and then coming up right feeling that good glute and hamstring work or we can take it down to one dumbbell behind our back same motion hinging 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 at those hips or one dumbbell behind the neck okay right here making sure we're bringing that chest nice and flat not curving our spine keep it neutral i also like to just Start with body weight, okay? Fingertips behind those ears, hinge at those hips, push them back as far as we can, make sure the weight is balanced in those feet. That is exercise number two. Exercise number three, we got some teapots. So holding one weight in our hand, other hand on our hip, we are reaching, 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 right past the knee, and then going and using that opposite oblique to pull that weight up, okay? Really over-exaggerating, we'll stay here, 20 seconds each side, and then we will switch, okay? 20 seconds on the other side. All right, next we have a mountain climber combo. So we can always just hold a plank for 40 seconds or you're gonna go ahead and do two narrow or standard mountain climbers and then two wide mountain climbers. So it goes one, two, one, two. Outside, those knees outside of those elbows. Or if you need to just stay with standard, right? Take the jump out of it and just have that nice control. All right, exercise number five, we got some clamshells. So going ahead onto that forearm, everything's stacked, my hips are stacked onto one another, slight bend in those knees. I'm gonna lift my hips first and then extend that, off, that top leg up. Lift and extend, feeling that good work in our obliques, our booty, good, and then extend it up. So no band, uh, you can add a weight onto your hip if you like, but not necessary. I want you to feel that slight movement, that control, making a one fluid motion. Perfect. And last but not least, squat and tap. So just like kind of what we did in the warm up, we're gonna go ahead and squat, touching it down, back up, okay? Um, if you need to on that one, you can always step outside and do that squat as well. All right, team, we're gonna go ahead and get it started. So, grab what you need. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds 
to kind of shake it out, get prepared, set your intention for today's workout. My motivation is always the body achieves what the mind believes, and that is so true. This, it starts right here. So let's go ahead, grab what you need. We're gonna start with those alternate curls to presses. In five, four, three, two, and let's get it going. We are starting 40 seconds, alternate curls to presses. So right hand comes up, dumbbell to that shoulder, and then we're gonna go ahead and press it overhead. Keep those elbows tight, feel that good squeeze in that bicep, and press. Good, you should have that nice glazed donut look, right? You're looking nice and good, nice and sweaty. There we go. It's not for speed here, you're squeezing intentionally. Use that bicep first, and then that shoulder to press overhead. Curl and press, give me one more each side. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out, 20 seconds. Going into those good mornings, right? We can go ahead, body weight, or one weight behind the neck, or no weight at all. Let's get it in three, two, and one. Feet right under those hips, soft bend in those knees. Push those hips back, good. Notice how I'm not going any further then my belly button hitting those, those uh, tops of my thighs, right? I'm not here, I'm right here. As far as those hips can push back, good. You can even pause for a second at the bottom if that helps to really engage those glutes and really feel those hamstrings working. Awesome job. Let's get one more in. We got three, two, and one, 20 second rest. Good, shake it out, grab what you need. Anytime you need some water, grab it, right? Recover, rest, and then get right back into it. We got teapots coming up. So one hand has that weight, one hand is on that hip, and we're gonna go ahead, activate that core. Stand it nice and tall, roll those shoulders back. We are in it. 20 seconds on that right side. Let's go. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Good, this one especially not for speed. Try to get one more on this side. Three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and switch. Switch those hands. Good. Feel that stretch and then that lift. Bend and then that snap. Woo, name that movie. Yes. Awesome job. Let's get one more all together. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Everybody's favorites coming up. That mountain climber combo. Again, if you if today you just need to hold that plank, hold that plank on our knees or on those hands. But we're going two standard mountain climbers, knees in, and then two outside of those elbows. We are ready. Three, two, and one. Lift it up. We're going one, two, one, two. Good, make it as fast or as slow as you need. Always worried more about form and control. Nice flat back. Get fancy with it, have fun with it. You guys are killing it, woo! Keep it up. Good. Keep breathing, connect to that breath. You got five seconds, don't stop. Come on, three, two, and rest. Good, little child's pose. We're gonna stay on our mat here, okay? Again, clamshells, start on your right or left side. Knees bent, that top leg, keeping our feet sealed together, that top leg is coming up, and we're extending up, okay? Pressing through our hips, pressing through our forearm. In three, two, and one, 20 seconds this side, lift and extend. Good, coming all the way down, all the way up. Nice work. Whew. Smiling through the burn, it feels so good. There we go, one more, three, two, and one. Switch sides, good, beautiful transition, smooth transition, and we're into it. Lift up. Top leg extends, good. 
And if you want to advance this, you be my guest. If you want to add some weight, be my guest. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. We are almost through round one, everybody. We got squat and taps to finish it out. Weight if you want. You are doing the most today. Good for you. Uh, if not, be with me. We got those in and outs. Three, two, and one. Push those hips back. You can touch it down if you want. In with those feet, standing tall. Out, sitting low into that squat. Weight in those heels. Good. Heart rate coming up. Yeah, we look good. Keep it up. Halfway there, friends. There we go. Worried about balance. Again, I should be able to read what you have on that shirt there. There we go. Look at all those cute t-shirts. Yes, 10 seconds. Don't stop, give me a little more, come on. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. One down, that is the best round yet. One down, three to go. Let's go ahead, grab those weights again. We got curl to press. That glow on you though, that glisten, that glow, that's what everybody wants. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Adjust if you need. If you need heavier weights, you know your body. You grab those heavier weights. If you need lighter weights, hell yeah. You gotta do you today. Good. Biceps are gonna end by those ears. Keeping those arms, those elbows tight to that body. Not using any swing motion. We're here, curl, using that bicep, pressing over. 10 seconds, give me a couple more. Yes, you can, come on. Good. We have three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down. If we're using them for good mornings, we can also have a band across our hip, our, our thighs, if we want a little resistance, right? Elbows should always, or elbows, <laughs> knees should always stay in line with those hips, right? Not coming in. Keep them out. Three, two, and one. Grab what you need. Feet under those hips. Push those hips back. There we go. Strong hamstrings, strong glutes right here. Inhaling on the way down. Exhaling, pressing up. There we go. Keep it working. 10 seconds. Can you get two to three more reps? I know you can. Come on. There we go. Three, two, and one. We got that. Good. Into those teapots. Again, water if you need. Rest. Hop back in if you need. You're doing a dang good job. All right. We're going to start on that left side, left hand holding that weight, right arm in that teapot position. Three, two, and one. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Good. As far as we can, use that opposite oblique, that right oblique, pulling that weight up. Good. You should be able to get about three to four on this side before switching. You got three, two, and one. Into that right hand, that weight goes. Dropping it down. Good. Nothing should be moving but that torso. There we go. You better work. That's what's playing in the gym. Good. Last one right here. Three, two, and rest. Let me shake it out. Let me shake it out. We are going into those mountain climbers again. There we go. Get there, get ready, right? You gotta get there, be prepared, and get ready to work. Set a rep goal for yourself right now. How many reps are you gonna get right now? 40 seconds, three, two, and one. Let's get it, two in that standard position, two outside those knees, right? Same knee, touching that same elbow. Everything is stacked. Squeezing my core as those knees drive in, and out, yes. Woo! This might be my favorite one of the day. Awesome job, 15 seconds, don't stop. Come on. Keep that body in motion. Good. 
Last five. Four, three, two, and rest. Take it down a little bit. Right? If you need to, take that child's pose for that second. And when you're ready, meet me into those clamshells. On that right side here, bending in those knees. We're ready. Feet are still together. Three, two, and one. My elbow's right underneath my shoulder here. I'm lifting up with those hips and then extending that top leg. Good. There you go. Feel that squeeze in that booty cheek as we lift up. Nice. Last one. Three, two, and switch sides. Beautiful transition. You guys all look like models. Good. <sighs> Lifting up. Good. We're always thinking about where should we be feeling this? Three, two, and one, right? Where should we be feeling this movement? Can I make that mind muscle connection? Okay, adding that extra layer. All right, we got one more to do in round two, squat and tap. You know what to do. Pushing those booties back in three, two, and one. Feet come out, we're touching it down, we're sitting in that nice low position, and up. Touching it down, tap it in, good. Again, modification, we're stepping out into that squat in each side. Still pushing our hips back, sitting in that nice parallel position. Give me 15 more seconds. Don't stop, get it, get it, come on, 10. Give me five more all together. One, two, three, four, and rest. Woo! Shake it out, halfway there, baby. Halfway there. We're all living on a prayer, good. Two down, two to go. Let's grab those weights again. Grab some water if you need, curl to press. Again, listen to your body. What does it need right here, right now? We're in it, three, two, and one. Curl it up to that shoulder, press it up, and over, good. Whatever thoughts enter your head, if they're not about the right here, right now, Shake them out, all right? If you're thinking about what you're gonna have for breakfast, for dinner, for lunch, don't. Shake it out, get rid of it, just right here, right now, that's where we are. 10 seconds. Good, three, two, and one, there you go. Grabbing just one weight, we're going into those good mornings. Again, dependent how you're feeling, you might have a weight, you might not. Doesn't matter. It's wherever you are today, where your body's at today. Good. Big inhale for me. And exhale. Let's go into it. Three, two, and one. Making sure we have that nice flat back, nice neutral spine. Good. Locking those shoulders back. Weight is either at our shoulders, right? We might have two weights here, or we might have one weight behind our back. Same motion. Hinging, starting with those hips, right? Just like we would a deadlift. Focusing on our hamstrings and our booty cheeks. Good, 10 seconds. Awesome work. Three, two, and one. There we go. We got teapots. Teapots. I want you to feel your core right now. As we exhale, you feel how tight that stomach gets. That is what we wanna feel all the way through these movements. Three, two, weight in our right hand, left hand on that hip, go ahead, reach, 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 and pull them back up. Extend, good, feel that stretch in that opposite side, and pull them up. Good, one more on this side. Good, and shake it out. Switching those sides. We gotta even it out. Let's try to get the same amount of reps on each side. There we go. You guys are doing great. 
Keep it up, smile through. Three, two, and one. All right, team, we are back into those mountain climber combos. So find that mat. Everything is stacked underneath, right? We don't want to press from here. We don't want to mountain climb from here. Everything's stacked. I do have my glutes squeezed a little to protect that lower back. No rounding here. No booties in the air. Let's get it. Three, two, and one. Two of those narrow mountain climbers. And then we're reaching outside. Those knees outside, those elbows. Woo! There we go. Looking good, feeling good. Feels good to work hard, huh? Feels good to accomplish things. Feels good to try new things. Even if we fail, you know you tried. Get back up, right into it. You got five seconds, keep going. Hold on to it, three, two, and rest. Press it back a little bit. That one is intense. Give yourself a couple moments, couple breaths. Back into those clamshells when you're ready. Laying on our right side or our left side, elbow underneath our shoulder. Give me a big old smile. Good, your body's gonna follow. Whatever you're doing here, whatever you're doing here, your body's gonna follow. Three, two, and one. Stop bending those knees, lift up, and extend, good. That bottom cheek is what's feeling that extension up lifting and squeezing one more on this side then we'll switch good let's transition opposite side 20 seconds on each lift good you guys are doing awesome keep up that intensity determination one more on this side three two and relax we got one more in round three one more squat and tap in round three you are to that final round You've already come this far, don't stop here. Right, you've already come this far. We're not gonna tap out now, pun intended. Squat and tap in three, two, and one. Woo! Push those hips back, keep that chest tall. There we go. Y'all look good, keep going. You know what's right around the corner, that finish line is right around the corner. How you do anything is how you do everything. How you work in here is how we work out there. Come on. Good. Give me a little bit more. We got 10 seconds. Let's go five all together. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there's five. Shake it out. Shake it out. Clap it up for yourself right here. Let's go, queens. We got one more. One more round. It's our last time at each exercise. Let's make it our best right here. Grab those weights, curl the press. Five seconds. Meet me there. Three, two, and one. Curl it up. Press it over. Yes. This is it. You know it. That's what's giving our last little burst of energy. Knowing that we are done after this. Come on. Good. There you go. I see you pumping. Come on. Pump that arm. Let's go. 20 seconds. Connect with that breath. Inhale and exhale. 10. Try to get one more on each side right here. Curl it up. Good. Three, two, and one. Done with the curl to press. Alternate curl to press. Check it off the list. We got good mornings. If you haven't added weight or haven't tried weight, this is your time to do so. Last opportunity to do so. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Let's go get it. In three, two, and one. Feet under those hips. Pushing our glutes back. Keeping our core on. Good. Now relaxing the upper back or rounding the upper back. Nice neutral spine. Yeah. My glutes are on fire. There we go. Inhale, all the way down. Exhale, coming up. Good. Our gaze should be following with that hinge, right? We're not uh, acting as if our neck is on a different loop. Our neck 
is in line with that spine. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Shake it out. I like to shimmy shake. I like to dance. I hope you like to dance. We're gonna do a lot of dancing. All right, teapots. Grabbing that weight. All right, if we're not using weight, same thing. You wanna keep that chest tall and trying to reach, reach, reach as far as you can. In three, two, and one. 20 seconds on that right side. Reaching right to those knees. Good. You're gonna feel a little pinch in that right side that's holding the weight as our opposite side squeezes up. Good. Three, two, and one. Switch to that other arm, even about, even out that other side. So dang close. Getting this done today. Three, two, and one. Done with teapots. Mountain climber combo. Last time we had to do these. Getting the pumped about that. We got too narrow, too wide. If you want to stay with narrow and go for a little more speed, feel free. If you're holding that limb today, feel free. But we are doing it for that full 40 seconds all together. You and me. Three, two, and one. One, two, one, two. Come on. Last time we get to do these. Right? It's a privilege to move our bodies. Good. As long as you are doing your best today, that is all that matters. Showing up for ourselves. Come on. We got 10. Oh, baby. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That one got me. That one got me good. I love it. Clam shells are next. I'm gonna add a weight to my hip, cause I know I can, okay? I know I can, showing up, getting better. We got clamshells and squat and tap, and then we're done. Three, two, and one. Lift it up, extend it up, good. Awesome. Those mermaids on the beach right here. One more on the side, three, two, and fun transition. Make it fancy and back in it. No time wasted. Lift up, extend up. These might feel a little awkward and if they do, that is fine. Work on the form first and then we can advance it. Three, two, and one. And who cares if it looks awkward, right? You're at home, you're in your, you're in your own space. Nobody cares. Let's go ahead and tap to finish it out. Last four seconds. We got this. You and me in it together. Final time here. Show up. Do the work. Let's grind. Three, two, and one. Final 40 seconds. Yeah. We're going ham. Come on. Full range of motion in those knees. Push those hips back, core is on. And we are breathing. Breathing in all the goodness. Whew, halfway. Get it. I see you working. I feel your energy. Come on. Don't stop. Right here with me. 10. Good. Five seconds, five more. Come on. We got one, two, three, four, and done Woo! clap it up for yourselves okay i don't care what you got to do adjust your crown right now queens because you just finished that hit workout for today great job let's go ahead get a little cool down right our heart rate is up we need to rest recover okay and take these last moments to soak in what we just gave our bodies so go ahead meet me on all fours all right, everything's stacked. We're getting control of our breath. And let's go ahead and widen those knees. So into that more frog, frog stretch. And we're gonna go ahead and push our hips back to reach those heels. And then we're gonna go ahead and rest our head to our mats.
Extend those arms all the way as far as you can. And just breathe. One more inhale. Release it out. Good. We're going to go ahead back onto those all fours and threading the needle. You're going to go ahead and reach up with your left, extend up, trying to rotate our upper body, keeping our hips square. After that, we're going to go ahead and thread that arm underneath our opposite arm and then rest onto that left or right side. Okay, other arm is extended out. Trying to push our hips back a little bit. Good. Back arm to all fours, same thing other side. Okay. Extending up, right? I might, I don't have as much mobility, and that's okay. Thread the needle under, extend that opposite arm out, and just rest. Just rest. Good. There we go, go ahead, back onto all fours. We're gonna finish with a little wrist stretch, a little forearm stretch. So you're gonna go ahead and face your fingertips towards your or knees, your body. And I just want you to sit back as far as you can, feeling that stretch in our wrists and our forearms, okay? Just as far as you can. You can rock back and then forward a little bit, trying to get a little deeper in that stretch every time. Good. Again, this is your cool down. Make it what you need. Make it what you need. If something needs a little more love, you give it a little more love. Good. One more time, rock it back. Rock it forward. Good. Thank you guys so much for your effort, your time, your energy today. Again, I'm Coach Haley. It's so nice to meet you all. Um, and just great job showing up for yourself today and getting the grind done. Um, you did it. Awesome. Thanks for joining and we will see you next time, homies.